Hello my crafty friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I am going to be doing a Tuesday morning haul for you today. Full disclosure, I actually didn't buy any of this stuff. My sister bought this for me. Well, I technically bought, paid for it, so. Um, but my sister went to Tuesday morning and she did some shopping for me and got me a bunch of fall paper. Um, and I'm pretty excited about it because I was looking at my fall stuff and I didn't really feel inspired by any of the paper that I currently have in my collection, so i um, pretty excited about getting all these new items for fall. So, and then of course there's one Christmas pack because, you know, I can't not get Christmas. Um, so let's go ahead and open these. I'll flip through them real quick. Here's the fall break one. The um, October Splendor, which I'll talk about that one. And then the Celebrate autumn and then I got this chipboard set that was on the clearance rack and then I got the family farmhouse which from simple stories and then I got the Santa's workshop so um, let's look at the fall farmhouse and I'm going to kind of do a mix of things with this one. I'm actually going to also, if I find inspiration in any of these paper packs um, for my fall happy planner layouts, I'm also going to probably start building kits for those. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I do happy planner layouts on my channel and um, they're pretty, uh, they're, they're typically scrapbook book pages and then um, I kind of do uh, um, pretty elaborate <laughs> with using scrapbook paper. Um, so, and then I create kits because I do videos every week for the my channel. Um, I create kits for that, and then um, that's why I am potentially going to be pulling things from these collections. So for this collection, so the family from house, it had a separate six by eight paper pad that came, uh, that was $3.99. So we purchased this one. I really like this one because specifically for like these pieces, um, like I love that one right there. I think this will definitely be one of my, um, kind of do the truck thing. So yeah, I feel like this is really... I really like that paper and then um, in the this um, I think what it was was I got these three things these four things in one set and then this came with this chipboard set and all the paper pack so here's the chipboard I really love the fall and the little boot and the truck and then there was three washi tapes in the little kit that came with the die cuts. So there's three of those. I like the gingham print. I'm not really into the stripe though. And then I do have the die cuts as well, which I'll go over in a second. So here is the sticker sheet that comes with that. And I kind of, this kind of has like a little bit of a vintage feel to it. Really cute. Pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. It's pretty yellow. Um, I love that pumpkin theme and the, the truck. I definitely think I'm going to do a truck theme with this, with this paper pad. Oh, here's the back of that one. That one's kind of cool. It looks like a steel, like steel. And all the words on the back. I love words. And then the gingham, but the gingham is like not white. It's like a dull gray almost. 
the pumpkins were cute. The stripes that match that washi tape. And then the leaf print is pretty. I love the wood plank and all the wreaths are really cute. I could probably do something really cute with this paper. And then let's see, there's the plaid and the words again. And then the orange gingham with the polka dots. This is a dark kind of olive green. It's like almost navy, but not quite. And the florals and that rustic orange with the polka dots and then the florals again. So let's look at the, uh, these ones are the, um, I'll just show you a picture just in case you want to fast forward this, but I am going to probably do this on faster speed and just flip through these real quick. So we've got, oh, I like that. It's a little wreath, all the leaf pieces, the pumpkins, a little sign, the florals pumpkins. That's cute. Welcome fall. That's cute. And I love all the leaf ones. Oh, um. I like that. That one's cute. A little sweater. Sweater weather. That's really cute. The mason jars. Pumpkin. Pie. Leaves. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so let's look at this one. This one is the um, more like the tags and journal spots. I like that Simple Stories does that, that they come up with, they do like a one that's more design and then one that's more like journaling spaces. So that would look really cute in the truck theme. Um, that would look cool in the, in the, um, the wreath one. Got all these little tabby bits. Welcome to our patch, that's cute. See, I like this one because it's got like, I could do also floral too, if I wanted to. Look at all these cute little words. Love those. And then I love all these little tabs. And then, oh, that's a picture. I was like, what is it a picture? Okay, and then that one. And then I love all these pieces. All these, like, little label pieces. Bless our harvest. Thankful. That is super cute. You pick pumpkins, 50 cents a pound. The little tag. Oh, my God, these are so cute. Look at all the words. And then that one. Oh, my gosh. Look at all these. Hold on. Look at all these the dates on there. Those are really cute. And then delicious apples. And then that little tag piece. And then hey pumpkin. Yeah, I can almost do an apple theme. And then it has the floral too. I love all of those. So I'm gonna keep those kind of together, but probably end up using quite a bit of these. So, just as always, Echo Park usually does this, where they put the, uh, the journal cards on the other side, and then there's two of them. Okay, that's actually really cute. I love the plaid on that one. And then the back of this one is the burlap. That one's really cute. I like that. And then the stripes. Not really a big fan of that one. I do like that little pumpkin farm, though. And then the leaves. And the... Oh, that's cute. It's got little... I'm not sure you're going to be able to see it, but it's got like little acorns and 
leaves and stuff in the pattern. And then this pretty floral. And then there's the back of that one. A sticker sheet for that. Okay, so here's a fall break. And this one again is another Echo Park one. So as per usual, they have the back. I feel like I have this or I've had it before or I've had elements of it because it looks really familiar to me but I don't think I've ever had it so I'm not sure <laughs> so there's the back of that that checkered plaid little forest fall forest and then that gingham prints on the back of that one. Oh, I love that Oh my gosh, I love that. That one's cute too, with the mushroom. And then on the back of this one, oh, is the little wreaths. Oh, I hate it when I like the back of the page of this one, <laughs> of the cards. It makes it hard to choose sometimes. And then the leaf pattern, that's really pretty actually. And that's got acorns on the back. And then a really pretty plaid. And on the back of that is this pumpkins. And then another leaf pattern with the little pictures of flowers on the back. And then there is the sticker sheet. I love this one. Okay, so this one is $6.99 for the essential pack. Um, well, it's not the whole essential pack, but it's got the die cuts and the chipboard and then the paper. Now I used this, I had this, and I used it for my October, November, September, my September, October, November layouts. Um, so you can see I, I do have a full flip through of this planner. And then I used some of the pieces on the side over here. So um, that's what I, and I actually bought it at full price. Well, not full price. I think it was like 20 something, like $21. You know, either scrapbook.com or um, might've also been on cherry on the top, but I'm not going to actually flip through this because I already showed you this video. So I'll leave a link up here if you want to see what this one looks like of that haul video. But um, I just went ahead and got another one because it was only $6.99. I really loved it. And I already basically used the whole paper pack for my planner. Now, the other one I bought was a Christmas one. And again, this is Echo Park. So it didn't have any um, additional goodies to it. But I mean, if you compare it... To the Echo Park here, it's $5.99. This is only $6.99, and you get the chipboard stickers and the die, um, the die cuts, which typically the chipboard stickers are at least $2.99, and the die cuts are at least $3.99. So that's an amazing deal. So let's go ahead and open this one. I definitely did not need more Christmas paper, but I can't help myself. I actually really wanted this one because I really love this paper pack. So I'm really excited it was there actually. So I mean, hello, look how cute this is. And then the Santa and Mr. Claus. So, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, look at that one. Love that one. And then the Christmas wreaths. Oh, it's so cute. I love this paper pack. Look at the old fashioned ornaments. Oh, look how pretty that is with the snowflakes. Oh my gosh, I love this paper pack. And look at Santa. I love, I think I love it because it's got turquoise in it. And if you know me, if you've ever seen any of my videos, I'm a turquoise girl. Oh, look at that big gingham. I love how they have the sewed um, all around the edges. And then, of course, I'm a sucker for the truck with the Christmas tree in it. 
I might just do all of my Christmas <laughs> layouts with this one. <laughs> Look how cute. And then it's got hollies. I love hollies. Oh, I love that paper. I love this paper. And then here's that one and that one. And then, of course, the sticker sheet is adorable. It looks like I got a little yuckiness right there. That's too bad. But so cute. Look at it. It's jolly. Oh, my God. I love this. And I love the Christmas wreath. And all the little, look at all the little um, tiny little snowflake stickers. That's one thing I love about Echo Park. They do a lot of really cute stickers. I did pick up a couple of things last time I was at the Tuesday morning. Um, I picked these Tim Holtz tags up. Um, they're just like metal little pieces. I want to see how thick they are. So let me open them. Oh, they're fairly thinner. They, they're thinner than I thought. So they all say different stuff. Journey, Cherish, Arful, Destination, Believe, Listen. And I like that they have the different colors. So they have like the kind of golden-y one, the more brass one, and the silver one. So, yeah. Happy with those. Sometimes you just need a little piece of metal on your design. And then I found some of this... Um, typecast from We Are Memory Keepers. Um, they're just labels. So I got this label. I love that it has like the little design of the, there's like a bee on this one, a birdie, butterflies. I love that. And then so I picked up two of those. And I think this is the 20% off one. And then this one just had a couple of different journaling cards. I thought they were really cool. Um, more kind of like travel-y themed, but and then I love these stickers, so I went ahead and picked up some of these. They have kind of a print on them, like postcard. Yeah. And then I got this um, Project Life cards. It was $4.99 with the 20% off. And I think if I remember correctly when I bought these, I think there was like an additional money off of everything. Because I wouldn't have bought this, but I really actually just bought it for this for the, um, the numbers, um, cause I really like the numbers about how they're like gold and, um, I could use them for December daily. I don't know if I'll use them this year in December daily, but I just really like these, these, these ones. And then I thought I could cut the 2020 off of this and use that there too. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do with these since I don't really have 2015 or 2016 stuff. I could potentially give this to my sister because <laughs> she's still scrapping those days. But And then I really liked how they had these kind of layover things. I love this one. The camera. The wood veneer. So really that's why I bought it was just for this stuff. I'm a sucker for uh, that kind of stuff. So these ones are kind of the ones that you can... Uh, do like the sprays on and stuff. I don't really, that's not really something I typically do. So I don't think I'll even use these. Um, and I'm not really in love with the graph paper or whatever this is called, craft paper. Yeah, I mean, these aren't really thrilling me. I'm not really thrilled about these. The really reason I got them is because of the little die cut things. I think it'll only cost me like two fifty. So yeah, I don't know. One kind of day, simple. The polka dots. I could use these for um uh like a stencil. I can almost use them as stencil. I could definitely use them as stencil. All right, so that is my Tuesday morning haul for you today. I um, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time.